students here the students who are directly joined to third semester under diploma quota for them there are two basic mathematics subject you have to study actually for this subject as per the university rules there is no attendance there is no intern mark so that almost all students they never go to the class because of that at the end they find difficult how to write the examination how to clear the examination but without clearing this you won't get certificate in the university never issue this that uh, certificate without com completing this two subjects so in third semester you have to start that complete one subject the title is advanced mathematics 1 that's mat deep 301 in the next semester fourth semester you have to complete the same subject that is advanced mathematics 2 that called that subject code is mat deep 401 so these two papers you have to clear either in the third semester or fourth semester so in the beginnings itself you have to complete otherwise what happens is because of that basic uh, mathematics you should know if you not completed that you find difficult to score good marks in the related subjects especially this subject is called field theory and some subject signal system and mathematical related subject for all this control theory this concept must be required so for that reason in advance in math third semester itself you have to complete this math dip 301 and fourth semester you have to complete that uh, 401 math dip 401 but you know to come this we have that prepared the cd that in one we completed this math dip 301 here the question be asked for 100 marks for 100 marks eight question be asked out of each question carry 20 marks so total there will be eight questions each question carries 20 marks in each question there will be three subdivisions like this first a b c or sometimes a b c d four subdivision will be there and second question also there is a b c and third question also a b c like that sometimes instead of three questions four question will be asked and uh, that enter question that carries 20 marks your first may be this 6 this 7 it's 7 like that now here we prepared one cd in which we completed that five questions so for 100 marks 5 into 20 means 100 marks for 100 marks we prepared one cd the first question that is always from there's a chapter that is called complex numbers from from solution of higher order differential equation so there how to solve a differential equation using different uh, cases that is discussed so if you practice this one you can answer for 100 marks so this cd is prepared to go through that if any doubt is there we can communicate later also if any doubt you can clear that doubt through that uh, network so we can go through this first uh, then any doubt can be cleared later then is some t simple example there can take it express the complex number express the complex number any complex number may be given so let it be express the complex number 1 plus i into 2 plus i divided by 3 plus i in the form a plus i b so sometimes instead of writing in the form x plus i y they may give you like this also express the complex number in the form a plus i b instead of x a is that instead of y b is that so this form of a complex number is called standard form of the complex number so when a problem of this type is given what you have to do is you have to avoid the denominator denominator must be purely real number for that you take the conjugate of this multiply the numerator and denominator by that but the numerator also some product may be there to simplify this first better to write the numerator also in terms of x plus i y some simple multiplication you can expand it say how to do this means first you take first take the given problem 1 plus i into 2 plus i 
divided by 3 plus i. First step you can what you can do is first write the numerator in terms of x plus i y. For that, don't take the conjugate of this. You have to take the conjugate only if the complex number in the denominator. Here in the numerator, you just multiply these two complex numbers. How to multiply? This is 1, one plus i into 2 plus i means first you take this one, multiply these two numbers, 1 into 2 plus 1 into i. Next, multiply i, i into 2 plus i into i. So if you multiply by this, we get 1 into 2, it is 2 first, then 1 into i, that is i plus then i into 2, it is 2i, plus then i into i, it is i square. Just you can expand. Then divided by denominator is 3 plus i. Here you have to put enough brackets because 1 plus i, it is one complex number for this one bracket. Then 2 plus i, another complex number. For that you have to put bracket. Then you expand it, we get this much. So you don't put bracket means you won't get this answer. So you have to take care while writing the steps. After that, you simplify. What you get here, it is 2. Here i is there, here 2i is there. So i plus 2i, total how many i is? That is here it is 1i, here 2i. Total 2 plus 1i, that is 3i. This is 3i plus i square. This must be always remembered. i square means minus 1. So i square is minus 1, hold it by, it is 3 plus i. So 2 minus 1, it is 1 only. So we get, it is 1, 2 minus 1 plus 3i divided by 3 plus i. Now always when it's more than one term, put brackets. Next what you have to do is take the conjugate of the denominator. Then multiply the numerator denominator by that. So what is the conjugate of 3 plus i? That is 3 minus i. So conjugate means you should know when it is of this type x plus i y, changing the sign only. Instead of plus, you write minus. If it is minus, you write plus. That is the conjugate of that complex number. So you take the conjugate. So we get 1 plus 3i divided by 3 plus i is there. First write what is the complex number. Then you take the conjugate of the denominator. Conjugate of the denominator is 3 minus i. Multiply the numerator and denominator by that. So numerator should be 3 minus i divided by 3 minus i. You have to also practice by putting bracket. Right? If you don't put bracket means you won't get the answer. So writing the step is very important. So now you expand it again. The numerator what you get? Again expansion. 1 into 3. It is 3 plus 1 into i. It is minus i you get. It is minus i. Then 3i into 3. That is 3 into 3, 9i. Then minus 3i into i. 3i square hold it by but denominator is it is 3 plus i into 3 minus i when you take the conjugate and multiple numerator numerator and denominator the denominator will be always in the form a plus b into a minus b so you should know always this result a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so here a means 3 so we get 3 square minus b square means i square that always you ought not. So what you got? That is, further simplify. Here numerator is, it is 3 is there. And here minus i plus 9i. Here minus 1i is there, plus 9 into i. If I add it, how many i's? That is minus 1 plus 9. Minus 1 plus 9 means 8. So total you get 8i, then minus 3 into, it is i squared, but i squared means minus 1, so this is minus 1, minus of minus we get this plus 1, or you write minus 3 divided by 3 square, it is 9, i square is minus 1, you can directly write this much, i squared is minus 1, so it is nothing but 3 plus 8i minus of minus plus 3 divided by 9 minus of minus plus so total get 3 plus 3, 6 plus 8i divided by 10. Now you have to write in the form a plus ib means what is real part. So this 10 is common for these two terms. So that is we can write 6 by 10 plus it is 6 by 10 plus 8 by 10 into i. 
So this complex number it is in the form A plus I B. So it is in the form A plus I B. A means here yeah, 6 by 10, B means 8 by 10. So there is the answer for this. So write the complex number in the form A plus I B means express like this X plus I Y or A plus I B. So like that one question will be always asked write the complex number in the form A plus I B.